Hi, I'm Figment, and today we're going to go over a very basic chiptune 8-bit setup in Propellerhead Reason. Um, this really isn't a tutorial on how to make a specific chiptune sound. More or less, it's kind of a open, tweak-to-taste tutorial on how to kind of have a chiptune template or guideline to follow. So specifically what we're going to try our best to emulate here is the classic NES console. Um, before I open this combi up and jump into that, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the NES. Hopefully it'll make this combi patch more understandable as to why it's set up the way it is. So, the NES basically has three oscillators, two square oscillators, and one triangle oscillator. Those are the three. It has a noise oscillator, which I guess you could almost say it has four oscillators, but at least three wave type oscillators, one noise oscillator, and one PCM channel, which is kind of, if you can think of it as like a sampler. But it, can, it only could hold really small amounts of sound, like maybe two seconds tops. Um, not very many games use the PCM, uh, but some did. Um, so with that in mind, I set up a modular synthesis setup using subtractors. Um, I've labeled them here, so it makes it a little easier. Two square, triangle, noise. Um, and I've set them up as far as their waveforms are concerned accordingly. So this oscillator has two square waves, or sorry, <laughs> this subtractor has two square waves. This subtractor has one triangle wave with oscillator two and the noise off. And this subtractor has, as you probably guessed it, its noise oscillator on with basically oscillator two and oscillator one off because the mix is all the way to the right, so we're just getting the noise off here. Um, with that being said, there's kind of some certain limitations you're going to have to impose on the subtractor to kind of get it to fit within this kind of chiptune restriction. So these kind of basic restrictions that you have to put on it, I found, are is to add the low bandwidth button on, turn that on. Um, normally your filter frequency can just peak up at 127, but you'd want to create the new ceiling as 95. Um, just because chiptune sounds really, they had brightness, um, but I find that with the filter frequency anywhere up in this range, it's just brighter than the NES really could generate. So the new ceiling on your filter should be 95. And this range from 95 down is your new filter <laughs> area to play in. I've already said it here, but I just tweaked the amp envelope, or sorry, the amp knob up a little bit for velocity so we can get some dynamicism as far as uh, sound and, and velocity is concerned. Um, these old consoles didn't have filter envelopes, so we're not even going to toy with that. That's just, pretend it's not even there. And punch your sustain all the way up on the amp envelope. That's kind of it as far as limitations are concerned on this, so I'm going to do the same thing on all of these. Low bandwidth, 95 ceiling, sustain up, nothing in the filter arm, increase velocity. Um, same thing, low bandwidth, 95, sustain, amp, um, okay, let's check. Um, and if you've noticed, if you haven't noticed, um, the reason why I, these are both off, because, well, this is off, and oscillator 1 is always on, but the mix is all the way to the right, so we're getting the noise. In this case, it's the opposite. The mix is all the way to the left, so we're just getting our triangle. This is off and no noise. Um, so it's really, we've really kind of 
in a modular sense, turned these subtractors into their counterparts of what they would be in the NES, or we've tried to. So now that that's set up, um, you can kind of from here start shaping your sounds to your taste, to whatever you're trying to make. A bass, um, some kind of a lead sound, a piano sound, a string bass sound, um, a bell sound, whatever the case may be. Um, the NES didn't use frequency mod either, so you're not going to mess with that. <laughs> um, in a nutshell, from here, it's kind of really simple because when you're limited to just two square waves and a triangle wave um, and a noise oscillator, you're kind of automatically going to start getting some, uh, getting in the realm of the NES since that's exactly what it had. But you're not done. Really, a real plus, and I think it's a necessity to make this patch work, is the addition of um, bitted distortion or digital distortion. So what I find necessary for my setup is to add screams to each one of the subs, each one of our synthesizers here. I'm going to just initialize these guys real quick because they are not in the right mode. The setting I would set these on is digital. That's really going to give you that lo-fi bitted sound. Um, there's no right or wrong setting as far as the resolution and rate. You can tweak those to taste. Um, the reason why, I mean, I put three uh, screams here, or a scream to each sub instead of just putting one sub here with the mixer and running it as a send uh, is because it gives you a little bit more control over the sound in the sense that let's put this on digital right and let's put this on digital um, so I could set this a certain way and have a certain rate and resolution I can set this another way for the triangle uh, waveform and set some different rate and resolution and I can set this a third way for our noise oscillator with another rate and resolution. I'm just tweaking these around just to show you that um, we can have completely different digital distortion settings for each oscillator whereas if I ran it as a send effect we would just have one um, scream that would just have one setting that we would just pipe them all to. So it gives you a little bit more control over the, um, the sound. From there, you will have a very bitted sound. I'll give you some uh, a quick uh, preview of some presets I made uh, using this exact um, setup and layout. So let's close these guys out. Uh, we have just some silly sequence here, some uh, chords and stuff, because my MIDI controller is not connected, so we're going to have to listen to it this way. But um, let's just try that. Uh, I don't know. How about some of these bells or something? And as you can see, same setup, two square, one triangle, one noise, screams, um, digital. See, and if you see... I've set them up slightly different. This one has a different rate and resolution, has a different uh, cut to it, and um, and there you go. And I've turned off the noise on because it's not needed. Let's just listen to this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and so on and so forth. Uh, you can tweak it to taste and take it anywhere you want to go. Um, but hopefully this setup will provide you with some ideas and places to start. So, 
have some fun, and I will talk to you.